Welcome to On The Beat, everyone. I'm over here with JTS and company mortgage professionals. The man behind the brand, Mr. Jeff Farnham. Welcome to the show, my Good friend. Good morning, yeah. All righty, I, I love talking about VA mm -hmm. issues and things that we can help them with within the community and what's available for them. Let's talk a little bit about VA loans. Mm -hmm. What is a VA loan and how is it different from a normal loan structure? Okay, so a VA loan is designed for, for the veterans themselves, right? And you have to be a, a qualified veteran to be eligible for it. So it's a great loan product. If you compare it to conventional or FHA, there's no down payment required. We'll do 100% financing under that for the veterans. There is um, a better interest rate. It's probably the lowest interest rate of all the mortgage categories typically. Uh, it's just a great benefit to, and just another way of supporting the veteran. I think it's super important because you being an ex-veteran as well, um, it's something that your firm love to get behind yeah. because this is one of the products that you, you have at your office. Yeah, so, you know, we're so proud of our veterans, right? Yeah. And we have a, a, a great Air Force base here that we um, has a lot of veterans, both, both active duty and retirees coming in. But our veterans did so much for our country, right? So this was something that Congress put in place years ago as a way to benefit them. The government insures that loan, so we're able to do that 100% finance, financing option. The underwriting's a little bit easier. Yeah. Just just a great, great option. For well, and this is something I want to say to everyone at home. Having a local person to take care of you, especially when you are a veteran, it's great to have someone you can say, hey, Jeff, this is what's going down. This is what I need to do. Instead of dealing with a national organization, why is it better to go local? Yeah, yeah we see this almost every day. We have veterans call us, and we have people that, conventional borrowers call us. They've yeah. been working with an 800 number, a national yes. lender. What we see uh, in our office, and we track this, our rate is better, our closing costs are better, but more importantly, even than that, they understand. You know, when you're dealing with one 800 number, you're talking to somebody on the phone, they don't know you, mm -hmm. they don't, it's very difficult to get all the questions answered than the dynamics of that loan put together. So sitting down face to face and being local and understanding every number mm. is so important. Well, when I knew we were going to be talking about this, I looked up a few other questions I wanted to ask you. The specific perks when it comes to the VA loan versus another type of loan like FHA or conventional. Mm -hmm. So the, the biggest perk is that you don't have to put any money down. A veteran can if they want to. That's so you don't have to do a down payment. Another big benefit is there's no monthly mortgage insurance tied into that. So you'll have a, if you took a wow. hundred thousand dollar loan, for example, FHA versus uh, VA and had the exact same interest rate, the payment on the VA is going to be less because you don't have that monthly mortgage insurance in there. So it's again, and then the interest rate is going to be a little bit better than say FHA or conventional. Okay, can a veteran have more than one VA loan? Yeah, that's a big misnomer. They think they've used their VA benefit before and they can't use it again. You can have your uh, eligibility reinstated and you can actually have two uh, simultaneous VA loans going. So if you had somebody that bought out in California and yeah. they're being transferred here and want to do the VA loan again, if there's enough eligibility available, it is possible to have a second VA loan. Okay, well, can we just touch very quickly on the eligibility? Mm -hmm. Because people may think that, yes, I was in the armed services for several years, I'm considered a VA. Right. What, do you, what are the steps that you go through to see if they are qualified? So that's something we do. We'll check for them. Uh, and most people know, if you've, if you've served during a wartime period or were in theater on, on active duty, then you're more than likely you're classified as a veteran. Where we run into some issues are those that served in the National Guard and maybe have only been in for three years or four years and never served during any type of wartime Correct. period. They may not be an eligible veteran. They may think they are, but they may not be. So that's that's a check we do very early on in the process to make sure that, that you meet the requirements. Okay, what do you love about this business? You know, uh <laughs> One, I, I love it. I love helping people. I love the opportunity. I teach my staff every day when we get up, we have the opportunity to help someone. And we get a great, um, great emotional benefit out of that, a lot of psychological benefit out of that. We love seeing first time home buyers start out. We love seeing retired couples downsizing. We just, we enjoy what we do. Well, we appreciate you, yeah. Jeff. Thanks Thank you. for coming in again. Yeah. If you want to find out more information, there it all is up on the screen for you. JTS and company mortgage professionals, give Jeff and his team a call back after this short break.